Not a red rose or a satin heart. I give you an onion. It is a moon wrapped in brown paper. It promises light, like the careful undressing of love. Here, it will blind you with tears like a lover. It will make your reflection a wobbling photo of grief. I am trying to be truthful, not a cute card or a kissogram. I give you an onion. Its fierce kiss will stay on your lips, possessive and faithful, as we are for as long as we are. Take it. Its platinum loop shrink to a wedding ring, if you like. Lethal. Its scent will cling to your fingers, cling to your knife. Now read the poem again by yourself. A red rose or a satin heart are traditional gifts that people give on Valentine's Day. But the writer here does not want to give a traditional gift. She wants to give her partner an onion. For her, an onion is a moon wrapped in brown paper. A moon we associate with love and the, the skin of the, the onion is like the paper. So it's a present that's already wrapped. And she suggests that it promises light, that the onion can, like a relationship, be very caring and good. However, in the second stanza, main stanza, rather than single lines, here it will blind you with tears. The writer suggests that the onion also shows the other side of relationships, the side that can be painful, that can hurt you, that can make you cry. And uh, she continues, like a lover, it will make your reflection a wobbling photo of grief. Talking about the way that the onion can make you cry, like love can make you cry, or a relationship can make you cry, because it can be painful. The writer says, I am trying to be truthful. So through the symbol of the onion, through the image of the onion, the writer is trying to explain what relationships are really like that they can be romantic and loving and caring, but they can also cause you pain. And the line, not a cute card or a kissogram, suggests that the usual representations of love that we get on Valentine's Day, the cards, the flowers, the hearts, don't really truly represent love in the way that the onion does. Because the onion shows the caring love, the moon wrapped in brown paper, but also the painful side. It will blind you with tears. The poet also then goes on to say, its fierce kiss will stay on your lips, possessive and faithful. So again, the writer is talking about two sides of a relationship. Possessive suggests something when somebody is very clingy, uh, it can be quite a destructive relationship. Whereas faithful suggests devotion. So relationships are complex. They are not simply about love and um, passion and all the good things. There, are, there is a darker side to a relationship. The final two stanzas um, also take on this darker side to a relationship. Platinum loops shrink to a wedding ring is the way that the loops of the onion can represent getting married, commitment, in a relationship. However, the final lines, lethal, it, its scent will cling to your fingers, cling to your na knife, suggests that relationships can also have a darker side, a more threatening side. Um, so again, it's showing the complexity of relationships, showing how relationships are not straightforward. They're not simply about love and affection and warmth, but they can have a darker, more sinister side where there is pain involved, um, where somebody can cling and possess somebody, where there may be um, some, some hidden threat perhaps in some way. So relationships are more complex than simply just a lovely bunch of roses or a satin heart. Okay.